What's up guys? I'm finally sitting down to film this heatless hair tutorial for you. I know you have wanted this for so long. So let's just get right into it because I don't really have anything else to say. So why am I doing this? Okay, so this is actually really, really simple, and the reason why I started doing this is because I just wanted to find an alternative way to curl my hair without using heat, because as you guys know, I tried to go the whole summer without using any heat, which so far I am doing, and I'm really excited. My hair has grown a lot, so if you guys are doing that as well with me, then just leave in the comments below. I'd love to see if you guys have you know, tried it out and if your hair is growing at all. Basically, I am just doing what every woman did to curl their hair back in the day. Before any like curling irons or straighteners were invented, this is how girls and women used to curl their hair. So I actually was just watching a movie one day and a woman was curling her hair with like little ribbons. I'm just like, hey, I could do that too, so why not? So basically all you need for this, um, if your hair is already dry then you can just use like a sp this is, looks so big right now but this is the only spray bottle I had. So just a spray bottle bottle to have to hold water for you and then of course just some like bobby pins or any kind of pin you guys want. You can even use like ribbons or whatever but I just find that bobby pins work better. And yeah this is actually, there's two different methods for this. Some people like to do it and um, do their hair and leave it overnight and sleep on it, but personally I just find that really uncomfortable and I don't know how people do it. So I mean, if you guys want to try that out, by all means go for it, but this is more of like a loose wave because that's just what I like in my hair better and I just find this method works best for me. So the reason why I have this thing with me right now, if you guys are all wondering like, Alex, what is that huge thing? like? Um, it's actually just to hydrate me when I'm thirsty so I could just squirt into my mouth. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually just to dampen your hair because when your hair is dry, like it, mine is right now, it won't hold curls. So you want to dampen it a little bit so that when you twist it up, the curl actually stays in your hair. So anyways, I'm just going to show you so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll start off with like my bang piece here, yeah. Make sure your hair is recently combed out because you don't want to have any knots when you're doing this. So you're basically just going to like dampen your hair with this. You don't want to completely wet it, but you want to make it so that it's damp. I'm just going to brush through it with my fingers. As you can see, it's pretty damp. And then what you're going to do is, I'm using two fingers for this because I want my curl to be a bit bigger. If you want your curls to be a bit tighter, use one finger. But you basically put your fingers at the end of your hair like this, and then you're going to start curling it up towards your face. Okay, how can I show this right now? So basically just doing like, big curls with your fingers. It does not have to be perfect. Trust me, the less perfect it is, the better because you want it to be like a beachy wave rather than like a perfect curl. If you want perfect curls, then that's a different story. But see how I got it all the way up to my head? Then you're just gonna take a bobby pin and you're literally just gonna pin it on top of your head. This is so hard to do in like a camera. I look like a monkey. So basically, this is what it's going to look like, and guys, this is seriously so funny right now. Oh my gosh, I look like such a freak. But this is basically what you're going to do all over your head. Sometimes I take bigger pieces than others, sometimes I take smaller pieces. I like to really mix it up so I don't have like uniform curls, and also I curl like up towards my face because I want the curl to be going away. I don't want to curl inwards because if you curl inwards like this, the curl is going to go like towards your face and it's like less flattering. It just in my personal opinion. If you guys like that style, go for it by all means. By the way, I'm so sorry if my voice is like raspy. I don't know what's going on. It's like disappearing. So again, two fingers, then up, then up. Can you guys see what I'm doing? See this little ring? Like, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm actually doing here. Up. <gasps> and then you pin it. And you want to pin it to the part that's next to your head. So now you got two little curls happening over here. And then you just keep your hair like this. Do you guys actually want to see me do this whole thing? Because, like, I got a lot of hair. The only downside of this is that it does take longer than if you were to just curl your hair. But if you're trying to grow out your hair and you're serious about it, then this is the best way to do it because it doesn't damage your hair. You get those nice loose waves without... Um, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. I'm like looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm just like, oh my gosh. But seriously, like it just helps dramatically with um, keeping your hair healthy. I know there are actually like things you can buy 
that are like little ribbons or whatever that you can wrap your hair around but I mean I always go for like the method that you can do at home because this literally like you don't need to spend any money I mean if you have bobby pins laying around at home if you got water then you're set you don't need to purchase anything with this so I just like this method the best because it's just like a do it yourself do it at home kind of thing And you're literally just going to do the whole rest of your head. This one's kind of falling, so I'll add two bobby pins, like, going opposite directions, just for more support so it stays. Another good tip for why you need to wet your hair is because if you do have layers, like, I have layers in my hair, it helps keep um, the layers stuck to the longer pieces. So now that you're done with all your hair, you're just pinning it all back and up. You're just gonna wait for it to dry and then you're gonna take it all down. Also, I wanna explain that when I do spray my hair, I only spray from like halfway down. Because if I spray up from like halfway to my roots, then that part will curl too. But I actually don't want that part to curl. I want that part to be more straight and then have the wave afterwards. So that's the only reason why I spray halfway down. Also, if you want, you can literally just like twirl your hair halfway and then pin it so it's hanging like that. That's another good way to do it, but this is just the way that I has, have been taught, so I'm just going to probably go do some chores, like some laundry or whatever, and then in around 40 minutes, I'll take them down and see what they look like. Okay, guys, so I just went to do some laundry and stuff, and I actually started playing with my dogs, and a lot of them fell out, so I then had to, like, redo some of them, but um, it's been around an hour now, because since I had to redo a couple, uh, <laughs> I got this one. Feels really funny, but anyways, let's see how they're turning out. By the way, I'm warning you now, it's gonna look crazy when you take them down the first time. Because they've been up for a long time. I'm trying to do this carefully so I don't damage my hair with the bobby pins. I'll do like the front first and then I'll start doing the back afterwards. The back is the hard part, but once you get the hang of it, it gets easier. You can also ask a friend to help, like a parent or a friend, just to do the back for you. Um, I used to get my mom to help me with it because I couldn't reach, but then I just started using a mirror and stuff, and I don't know, I'm just, after a long time of doing it, you just kind of get used to it. <laughs> Ooh, that turned out okay. Then I like to shake it all up. This is basically what it looks like after I take them all down. This is like very like tight curls, so I actually like to brush these out because I don't really like the tight curl look. But I don't really brush hard, I kind of just like go over it quickly. I don't want to like comb through it completely. I mean this is basically what it looks like after all these like little curls. The ones up here, because of my layers, are going to be a bit tighter. But as the day goes on, they actually really fall out and it looks really nice. And if you can tell in my a lot of my pictures, the curls have been looking a little bit tighter. But it's almost like they're heavy, so they just fall throughout the day, which I really like. And then to finish it off, I add some sea salt spray or something like that, just to give it a bit more texture. But I mean, you guys all know what it looks like to put sea salt spray in. They're super nice and curly. And yeah, I just really like to do this with my hair. Obviously, if you're going to be doing this for school, it does take a lot of time, so I wouldn't suggest it. I might suggest to do them at night and then sleep on them. And if you want, you can put a shower cap or something over your head just to keep them in place. But at the same time, it's kind of uncomfortable, so um, I really suggest just like doing the other method where you kind of roll them up halfway and keep them here um, instead of on top of your head. You just kind of keep them halfway, like they would be in a curl like this and then you would clip them and they would just be like hanging here like that and then you can go eat breakfast do your makeup and then take them out afterwards and you should be good to go this is not supposed to be looking like you curled your hair it's supposed to look like very natural and natural curls slash waves so that's the whole point of the no heat because i really like the way that looks it just looks like you have like natural natural beach waves which is so pretty and then especially once you add the sea salt spray which i'm going to do after this it's going to look really nice so after i add in some of that sea salt spray it just gives it a really nice beachy look and it kind of just looks like mermaid curls i just really really like it especially for the summertime this is like my favorite way to wear my hair just because it's like natural and no heat and I just really like the way it looks. Yeah, look, it's mermaid hair. I apologize if you guys have a hard time seeing what I'm doing. It's really, really hard to show it on this, like, small viewfinder. I normally use, like, two mirrors, one in the front, one in the back, so I can kind of see what I'm doing. 
but doing it right here for you is actually really hard. I didn't realize how hard it was going to be. Basically, I just use two fingers and roll my hair up, pin it with two bobby pins so it stays against my head. While it's damp, you let it dry for around 40 minutes, then you take it out slowly so you don't ruin the curl, then you just kind of finger comb it. And it should turn out like this. Obviously, if you have shorter hair, the curl might look a bit different. But um, my sister actually did this when she had shorter hair and it looked so pretty. And I don't know, I just really like it a lot. Like, I find this looks so good. And this is just literally done by curling it around onto my head. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I apologize again if you cannot see exactly what I'm doing properly, but I hope you get the gist of it. And if you try it out, please tweet me some pictures. I would love to see your looks of how you did it or whatever. And if you have any other questions, leave them down below. I'll answer all your comments. I've been going through and answering every single comment lately. But I do want to say sometimes it doesn't let me reply. It only lets me like your comments. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't reply to you. But yeah, if you have any other questions, just leave them down below. If you have any other suggestions, suggestions leave them down below. I just really hope you like this tutorial. Um, I feel like it's all over the place but I feel like that's all all my hair tutorials are kind of all over the place. I don't really know what I'm doing. And yeah I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I want to get over a thousand likes again because we've been doing that lately and I love it and I will see you guys all on Wednesday. Bye!